Life before birth. Conception. Life begins. Life begins at conception as a single, separate, living cell. Nothing new is added except oxygen and nutrition. Fertilization occurs when a sperm and ovum join to form a single cell, full of life and bearing the unique genetic imprint of a person who has never existed before. The DNA in the 46 chromosomes that of that small cell contain full instructions about that new individual's eyes, uh, sex, eye color, fo foot size, brain capacity, and other physical traits. One week implantation on, on about the sixth day, the baby, the growing baby attaches to the wall of the mother's uterus. The rich nutrient lining becomes welcomes the tiny tenant, and soon the child is sending out the chemical signal that can be detected in a home pregnancy test. Before the second week is over, the cells of a child's body will be have already begun segregating themselves into various layers that will give rise to the brain, nervous system, skin, digestive system, muscles, bones, and circulatory system. Three to four weeks, a beating heart. The baby's heart begins its first beats as early as 18 days after fertilization, often before the mother even suspects she's pregnant. Between the third and fourth weeks, the baby's head and spinal column become easily distinguishable, and the arms bud appear. Legs will begin to appear late days later. The umbilical cord forms and transporting oxygen and nutrients to the child. Six weeks, brain waves. Fingers are forming, and the child's mouth and lips are apparent. The child, the child begins his or her first movements. At six weeks, the baby has brain waves that can be measured with an Electro uh, photogram. You see the word? I don't know what that is. 10 to 11 weeks, organ systems in place. The baby has eyelids, fingernails, fingerprints, can grasp an object. The kidneys begin to form urine. All systems are in place and active. The baby has a skeletal uh, structure, nerves, and Circulation, 12 weeks, movements and characteristics. Though too small to be felt by the mother, the baby reaches peak frequency of movement during the third month. The baby's sex can be visually determined and the child's eyes, ears, and face begin to display distinctive characteristics. 14 weeks, a miracle of development. Eyebrows have formed, eye movements are seen. For a couple of weeks now, this baby has had all the body parts required to experience pain including the nerves and spinal cord. 16 weeks, making his or her presence known, the baby becomes large and active enough for the mother to feel movement or turns, kicks, and somersaults that at some points even have even become visible to the outside. 20 weeks, hearing mother's voice in the fifth and sixth months, the baby responds to music, sudden noises and voices, especially that of his or her mother, over the coming weeks, the baby will increase seven times in weight and nearly double in height. 23 weeks or earlier, viability. The viability is the time when the baby can survive outside the mother. Not long ago, viability was at 30 weeks, then 25. Today, babies at 22 and 23 weeks have been saved, and even some younger babies have survived. What will viability be tomorrow? What you don't know can hurt you. Few women faced with an unwanted pregnancy are told of the marvelous development of life growing within them. In the absence of information, abortion seems to be the right decision at the moment. But they are not warned of what will really happen to their baby or the possible, the possible physical and psychological effects of abortion that may stay with them the rest of their lives. And they are rarely told of the alternatives to save, their, save the life of their child. Some doctors say that the abortion is a routine operation to remove fetal tissue, but in truth, it is the destruction of a living human being. One young mo woman who later regretted an abortion stated the doctor set a little fluid out and some fluid injected, severe cramps, and then the fetus is expelled. That isn't what it was. I felt my 
girl thrash around for an hour and a half until she died a slow death. The mother is exposed to long-term complications and incomplete abortions include, result in blood clotting, bleeding, hemorrhage, infections are not an uncommon, menstrual disturbance, miscarriage, tubal pregnancies, and ster sterility, sterility are always risk and to end and to tend to multiply with successive abortions. RU eight four eight six and other abortifacients can cause severe birth defects in any child that survives this self induced abortion and severe side effects for the mother. Several mater maternal deaths have been reported due to the use of this miracle pill. Long-term psychological and spiritual effects include guilt, anxiety, depression, anger, sense of loss, nightmares, death scenes, deterioration of self-image, and even suicide. Cervical lacerations and uterine per perforation can result from suction and DNC procedures. Convulsions, severe vomiting, and diarrhea are common with pr prostaglandin abortion. Cardiac arrests and maternal deaths have also been reported. A life-giving alternative, but there is hope for both the mother and the child. If you have a problem pregnancy, we want to know that we want you to know that God cares for you and the unborn child growing within you. He knew about you before you were born. Oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. My frame was not hidden from you when I was when I was being made in secret in the days that were formed. Uh, for me, when as yet there were none of them. Psalm 139, God wants to bring life, not death, uh, out of your difficult situation. He has already provided lifelines to help you. Support is available to help you care for your child, provide a childless couple with a baby, financial aid, emotional support, medical services, and most important, a future Free of guilt and full of hope for you and your unborn child can be yours. Choose life today if you picked up this pamphlet at your local crisis pregnancy center. You already know the quality of people who work there. But if not, you can look in the yellow pages under the heading abortion alternatives or call toll free 1 800 848 love or go to nationallifecenter.com anytime to find the nearest crisis pregnancy center. You can find someone who generally cares about what happens to mothers and their unborn babies. There's the number. <clears throat>